neutral grounds of Fenway Park, the show has an AL East matchup. It's the Tampa Bay Rays and the Boston Red Sox. First pitch coming your way next. Just about to get started, getting the nod on the mound. Tanner Howe, what's the word on him? Well, coming into this game, hitters are batting under 250 against this starting pitcher. So it just shows you how effective he's been. He's been able to move his pitches around, add and subtract, change up the look so that hitters don't get too comfortable and start squaring up the baseball. We'll see what he's got in this one. Okay, all set to go. Now up for Tampa Bay, Yandy Diaz. The pitch. Foul ball there. First pitch, 7 11. And the righty deals. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Okay. This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. And that one is lifted in the air. Rafaela in position, puts it away for the out. Now a look at Kevin Cash's lineup for the Tampa Bay Rays. This group was shut out their last game, so we're going to see if they can bounce back with a better effort here today. And Boog, it can get in your head a little bit when you get shut out. You're frustrated. You're seeing that consecutive streak of innings you haven't scored, and you want to get off to a great start, score early, because if you don't, you feel like you could linger into two consecutive games, which no one wants to be a part of. One out, base is empty. He swings and fouls one off. Kicks and deals. Gets a piece and it stays 0-2. One down, base is empty. A swing and a miss. Struck him out. Two away. The cutter right there had just enough movement on it to get the swing and miss. It wasn't a great location by any means. That's typically a spot that hitters can handle. So I'd say he fooled him with just enough of that late action. And now here is Jose Caballero. Swing and a miss as he was out front. Caballero starting as the designated hitter. 27 years old, and he was born in Panama. That's in there, and the count is 0-2. Two outs. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Tampa Bay nothing. Red Sox coming to bat. Back after this on the show. And we're back. And on the mound in this one, Zach Eflin. Yeah, and his whip tells you he's been pretty effective this year on the mound. I mean, opposing hitters having a hard time getting on base and then being able to really distract him and do damage in terms of getting around the base path. So we're taking the mound. This is a guy you want out there if you're his teammate, and I expect him to be good in this one. Connor Wong leading things off and takes a strike. Swing and a base hit. So a man on base to start the inning. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side. And the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. Next up, it's the first year shortstop, David Hamilton. Third baseman playing on the edge of the grass looking for the sack bunt. That smash towards center. Pulls up, and that's in there for a knock. They take the force out, 
One gone, bottom half of the first. Puts the tag on him, and it's a double play. Definitely a weird play right there, and it changes the outlook of the inning completely. Nice job by the defense to take advantage and get two outs out of it, but on the flip side, I have to think they're going to have some discussions and probably some lessons learned about the base running decisions that were made. Up the middle, and it finds its way through for a hit. And now a two-out opportunity for Rafael Devers. Wastes no time there. Once you get the ball by the pitcher, there's a lot of base hits up the middle, even on ground balls. So a nice job to use that big hole and get himself a hit. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. And it's Rafael Devers in the box. To the right side, Lau. Slings to first. Play made, that ends the inning. And the Red Sox leave one. Scoreless after one. New inning getting started. Now here's the Tampa Bay cleanup hitter, Isaac Paredes. Paredes. Hout back to work. That pitch clips the outside corner. Strike one. I mean, that's perfect location right on the black. I mean, over and over again, this guy demonstrates the ability to hit those spots. They're so tough to do anything with as a hitter. That one finds the zone. Oh, two. All right, now, he may have not liked either of those first two pitches or agreed with the umpire's calls, but at this point, he's going to have to bear down and be ready to hit anything close to the zone. The pitch gets a piece there we'll do it again the punch out there looks like he's picked up right where he left off well they get the strike out there and what kind of stood out to me was that they weren't shying away from contact every single pitch was in the strike zone and that tells me they wanted to attack him and it paid off And now it's Jose Siri. Good defender. He's been inconsistent offensively. And there's a breaking ball that drops in there. Second inning here. No score. Swing and a miss. And he struck him out. Now two away. Well, he's really dialed in, and this offense is going to have to do something to try to break that rhythm. Maybe it's square around the bond, step out of the box, agitate him a little bit, do something that just changes what's happening right now because at this pace, it's going to be a long game, so you got to figure it out quickly. That one pushed foul out of play off to the left. Two down, nobody on. That one finds the zone, and it's 0-2. That split is a pretty nasty pitch. Explodes out of the hand, looks like a fastball, and the bottom just falls out of it. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. And that is that. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Here at Fenway, here's Tyler O'Neill. The designated hitter, Tyler. The pitch. Oh, dear. And there's a foul ball. The wind of the pitch. That one is absolutely belted. That's going back. Back some more. And that one's gone. His 17th of the year, and they jump ahead in the second. It's 1-0. He absolutely feasts on right-handed pitching and devours that one for a homer. And you can see that's what he expects of himself. At bat after at bat, he's that confident. Anytime you have a pitch down the middle of the plate, the percentages go up for the hitter to do damage, even if it's a pretty good sinker like that one. Nice piece of hitting there at the plate.
Joe stepping in for Boston. Masataka Yoshida. He's someone that really beats up on right-handed pitching. The lefties, however, give him a little bit more trouble. On a line, base hit. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. Here's Reese McGuire. That one ripped. And it's gone. They must be going crazy in the dugout. It's their second home run of the inning, and they add a pair. It's 3-0. He only needed one swing to square it up. Not wasting any time in that at bat, Boog. Aggressive, and it paid off. A good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. Now it's Dominic Smith. And it finds its way through for a hit. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of this struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game. But all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. And here's the rookie center fielder, Sidane Raffaello. Grounder might be two. Over to Lau. Relay to first, double play. As a former player, watching 5-4-3 double plays brings back some adrenaline. It's such an exciting play, and it's always a great reminder of baseball being such a team sport. So the lineup flips over. Connor Wong up next for the Red Sox. Swings and blasts one deep to left center. And it bangs off the monster. Throws to second. And he's out. Right there. Right there. Cut down, and that ends the inning. Back now at Fenway. Lau at the plate. And a pitch. Swinging a foul over the screen and back out of play. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. Going two now. Fights it off. He'll see another. Left hand hitter waits. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0 and 2. Fouls that off to the left, and we'll do it again. Riding to the plate. Foul ball. It stays nothing in two. Here comes a pitch. On the ground. Wong tosses to first and one away in the top of the third. Batting it. The shortstop. Taylor. So Wall. next to the plate for Tampa Bay, Taylor Walls. And first offering is fouled off. Right through there for a strike. Well, a good slider from an opposite-handed pitcher has to stay in that tunnel just a little bit longer. Otherwise, recognition can cause you to barrel it up. And right there, the hitter clearly couldn't do anything with it. No, just couldn't pull the trigger on the fastball right there. And I don't think he was taking it, thinking it might be a called ball or anything. I just think he was flat-out frozen. Did not expect that location, in my opinion. Ben Wurtvet at the plate now. That's ball one. Now he breaks his bat. Hamilton throws the first in time. Rays retired in order. Nothing doing for Tampa. Still down 3-0.
as we go to the last of the third. Here's the shortstop at the play, David Hamilton. It's been a rough start on the mound for this guy. This third inning is so important for him to get on track, turn the page, settle in, do all those things you need to do to give your team. Now this ball is well hit. This one's got a chance. Going gone. He made him pay for that one. It's his sixth home run of the season. It's 4-0. That's their third home run of the game. They're having a lot of fun at the plate in this one. They've got the long ball working for them on autopilot. Love to see a hitter aggressive on the first pitch of an at-bat. You watch him from the on-deck circle, so when you step in the box, you're ready to pull the trigger wherever it's at. Really good job by the hitter. Total conviction on that swing. On to first. One gone, bottom of the third inning. Good fade now and sinking action of that changeup. Got that hitter to roll over. Devers. Here's Rafael Devers. 0 for 1 so far. Yeah, and here's a fun stat on Devers. He's at his best when he's hitting homers and doubles. And by the time he was 26 years old, Devers already had over 150 home runs and more than 200 doubles. He's just the 15th player in baseball history with those kinds of numbers at that age. One run across in the frame so far here in the last half of the third. That's a laser base hit. Well, oh, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there. You see a ball come off the bat like that, you know it was pretty much a perfect swing. And for me, you know, I start wondering, and I'm looking on the computer, what was the exit velocity? This time, 106. Now it's going to be Tyler O'Neill to third. And he grabs it in foul ground. Devers leads off first with one away. To center and a base hit. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. A couple of singles back to back. Oh, that ball looked oh, and sounded like he was oh, shot out of a cannon. Absolutely oh, demolished at 117 miles per hour, which is extremely rare, but I bet he wishes he got just a little more lift on it, because if he would have, it would have gone way out of here. And the 01. Walls. There's one. And they bounce into two already. This one ends the third. One in the inning, and it comes from a rather unlikely power source. It's now a 4 nothing ball game. You're watching Major League. Start of the fourth. Yandy Diaz now. The first baseman, number two. Yandy Diaz. And he deals. Anything in particular stand out to you as far as moments at Fenway Park? Wow, you know, it's unfortunate because I remember as an Oakland A's player, we were up in the series against the Red Sox, two games to none. All we needed to do was close out a Saturday night ball game. We went extra innings. The Red Sox won that ball game. And then Sunday, they pushed the series by winning game four back to Oakland for game five. And unfortunately, they won game five as well. Randy. Now it's Randy at Rosarena. Struck out swinging his first time. Yeah. That one finds the zone. Strike one. That was 2003. Uh, the Red Sox would eventually get their hearts broken by Aaron Boone, but end the curse a year later. The Rays yet to pick up a hit here. And a pop up right side, foul territory. Catcher tosses the mask, settles under it, makes the grab, two down. The batter, number seven, designated hitter, Jose. Two Caballero. outs, base is empty. Now it's the DH, Jose Caballero. Huh. Swing and a miss. No ball. One, two, two down, nobody on. Top half of inning number four. And that is in for a strike. And it's 0-2. Packs and misses. It's a strikeout. 
So 12 up, 12 down to begin the ball game. The Red Sox four, the Rays nothing. Back inside Fenway Park, John Chabi and Chris Singleton with you. And leading off the bottom of the fourth, Reese McGuire. And a pitch. On the ground the first. And he handles it himself for the out. The first baseman, number two, Dominic Smith. Dom Smith stands in. One for one with a single so far. Bounced up the middle. Walls. Whips it to first. And a couple of quick outs. This is important. If he can go one, two, three here, will be a very positive sign for him and for his team. So two down now, and here is Sidane Rafaela. He's over one. That one laced to center and a base hit, and that keeps the inning going. So the Red Sox lineup turns over. Connor Wong now at the plate. And a swing and a line drive at a right field. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. And that is that. So one hit is all they get. We played four. The Red Sox four, the Rays nothing. Back here in Boston, we go to the top of the fifth. Now the third baseman, Isaac Paredes. Paredes. So, Boog, you went to college in this town. What was it like for you being a college student and having the opportunity to bounce over here to Fenway Park and see some games? Yeah, in fact, 1990, a couple of college classmates and I, we were in college. We bought standing room tickets, and then the next night got a chance to see the Red Sox clinch the East against the White Sox in that sliding catch. In the corner by Tom Burnett. Jose Siri. Hansky, the Red Sox would end up losing to the Oakland A's in the playoffs, but that's one of the things that I'll think about in terms of memories from going to college and going to Fenway. Swing and a miss. And it's not a good two. And down on strikes. Now two out. Oh, there's a three pitch strikeout. He can do whatever he wants with the baseball right now. Two right outs, base is empty. And stepping in for the Rays, Josh Lowe. He's 0 for 1. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. He's been going after these guys consistently, and as a result, He's been able to keep his pitch count low. Throwing the ball very well right now. Foul ball. Two down, nobody on. And we're at the top of the fifth. Looking sharp just to strike away from five shutout innings. Two outs. Bounced out to short. Hamilton. In plenty of time to first. And it's a 1-2-3 inning. Rays held in check here. They're on the short end of a 4-0 score. And welcome back to the ballpark. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And stepping in is the speedy David Hamilton. Eflin back to work. And there's a fly ball deep right field. And that one hops the wall. Into second easily with a leadoff double. Oh, the throw is over his head. Doesn't get too far away, so no one moves up. New arm 
out of the bullpen, Garrett Clevenger. And we all know about his slider. It's just filthy, man. And one of the better ones in the game, I'd say. Spin rate's very high, and it just breaks a ton. So, man aboard. And next for the Red Sox, Willier Abreu. One for two. Swing and a miss, strike one. You know, these Red Sox doing a good job of simply getting the bat on the ball in this game, and the numbers back that up. Double-digit hits and zero strikeouts. I don't know which of those is more impressive, but especially in today's game, that's something they can feel very good about. Swing and a miss. And that is strike two. There's a swing and a drive. And it's a one-hopper off the wall. Should be extra bases. Ren comes in from second, and the lead is up to five. He was all over that one. Even though center fielders are amazing at tracking down balls these days, there's still a lot of room out there, and it's a big field. So if you hammer one to center like that, there's a decent chance you're picking up extra bases. Rafael Devers up to hit. This one chopped to first. That's out number one. And a run comes in to score. And now the DH, Tyler O'Neill. He's already homered in this game. High fly ball down the left field line. The Rosarina reaching back towards the wall. And it's off the green monster. It's a double. Third hit of the night for him. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. He absolutely ripped that ball out front and almost got it out of here, man. Just a really strong balance swing and a fraction of an inch different on the bat. And it is probably out of here. Here's the left fielder, Masataka Yoshida. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Sizes this one up. And he makes the catch. Two down. Reese McGuire digs in now. He's already homer here in this one. Up the middle, Walls. To first, and that'll keep more runs from coming in, inning over. They get two runs on three hits, no errors, and one left. We're through five. It's the Red Sox six, the Rays nothing. Back here at Fenway, top Tampa six. Bay. And now it's, it's Brandon Lau. Brandon Lau. Clearly down in this ball game, and you can't look at the deficit and try to get it all back in one swing. It's got to come one at bat at a time and even shrink it down smaller, pitch to pitch. Make that guy on the mound work to get you out. In the air, out towards left center. That gets down for a hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Well, there goes the chance for a perfect game. That ball right there landed in what they call a no man's land, meaning it's not really a spot on the field where you can expect anyone to get to it easily. I mean, it's a tough play going back for the shortstop, but also for the outfielders trying to come in. They got to go a long way as well. Next Three. offering is in for a strike. And it really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Lau gets his lead at first. Nobody out. In the air right field. Abreu settles under this one. One away.
Man at first. Now up for Tampa Bay. Ben Wartvet. Wartvet. And first offering is fouled off. The Rays with a lot of ground to make up. And we're the top half of the sixth. Swing and a miss. Oh, with two now. Well, this can be kind of frustrating for the hitting coach. Right now, this lineup seems to be swinging at everything. And a foul ball. He stays alive. The 0-2. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Right-hander kicks, deals. And that's downstairs and outside. Fights that one away, still one and two. Towards first, has some trouble with it. And they put the tag on him for the out. Now batting, the first base, Yandy. So the Rays batting order turns over. Yandy Diaz next to hit for the Rays. Right through there for a strike. Tonight, his slider has been really impressive. I mean, tight spin. Seems like the hitters aren't picking it up out of the hand. Swing and a miss. He finds himself in a tough situation early. Just got to try to simplify it. Take a knock the other way if you can. Hits and misses. It's a strikeout. Another inning in the books, but the perfect game couldn't survive it. It's the Red Sox six, the Rays nothing. Back here at Fenway Park, Park, bottom of the sixth inning. Run. Now, Dominic the Smith. Taken Dominic. high in the draft, he's had that top prospect yeah. labeled over him since he put on a professional uniform, but at some point, that starts to go away, and you've got to produce at the big league level. Right side. Lau sends it to first. One up, one down. Now that. Here's the center fielder, Zidane Rafaela. And it's fouled away. The why to kick the pitch. That clips the zone. That is strike two. In the air, right field. Low has it sized up. Two down. Now batting. Now here's the Red Sox leadoff hitter, Connor Wong. On the ground to third, sneaks through, base hit. And that extends the inning. Now it's the shortstop, David Hamilton. This one in the air center field. Sizing this one up. Nabs it. And that's the third out. One left for the Red Sox. They lead it though, 6 zip. Back in Boston, we go to the top of the seventh. And stepping in for the Rays, Randy Arozarena. Arozarena. And here it comes. In there at the knees. Going one. Lifted in the air, right center field. On his way over. Long run, tracks it down. And a quick out, number one. To the plate now for the Rays is the DH. Jose Caballero. Swings through that one for strike one. Now this guy is just filling up the strike zone right now. Don't want to get yourself in an 0-2 hole. You better be ready to pull the trigger on the first pitch. Righty delivers. In the air on the infield. Smith under it. Makes the catch for the out. And there's two down. Now batting, third baseman, Isaac Paredes. Isaac Paredes now. Oh. 
Bounce to the right. And that one finds its way through. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. The batter, the center fielder. So Jose next to the plate for Tampa Bay, Siri. Jose Siri. Right through there for a strike. Pitch is in there. That's strike two. Perhaps not quite ready to hit. First two pitches by him for a couple of strikes. Now back is against the And he got him. Strike three, and that'll retire the side. One left for Tampa. Still up against a six-nothing deficit. Make a move, make a move, make a move. And we're back. Bottom of the seventh. And now the right fielder, Willier Abreu. Swing and a miss. Clevenger. It is third season, 29 years old, and he was a third round pick back in 2015. In the air, right side. Low has it sized up. Makes the grab one down. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. Now it's Devers at the plate. One for three. Swings through that one. The pitch started oh, in and ended up on the outside edge. Just changing planes and very difficult, especially for a left-handed hitter to track. Siri sizing it up. Brings it in. And there's two down. Well, those can be pretty fun as an outfielder. Got to put it into his highest gear and go a long way to track that one down. Nothing better than that. You feel like a wide receiver playing football. And it may be a long shot, but a triple here will give him the cycle. Gets him to chase after that one. Wow, no fair right there. I mean, that slider didn't move to the very last moment. Incredibly difficult to pick that up. Just kind of have to tip your cap on that pick. And that's a base hit. And that keeps the inning alive. was absolutely ripped 111 off the bat and I'm pretty sure it started to whistle after it left the bat I think I heard that too Boog and these are the moments we appreciate when we can look at StatCast and just see exactly what the data is always so much fun to see what numbers pop up and now it's going to be Masataka Yoshida swung on belted Siri going back on this one and it hits off the monster O'Neal flies around third he scores it's seven to nothing didn't take long to get a result for that at bat challenged him with the fastball right in the heart of the zone and he was clearly ready to jump all over it now at the plate Reese McGuire Hit weakly on the ground. Throws the first. That ends the inning, and they limit the damage. So they pick up a run on two hits, no errors, and a man left. Eighth inning coming up. It's the Red Sox seven, the Rays nothing. Back now at Fenway, ready to begin the eighth. Now it's the right fielder, Josh Lowe. Josh Lowe. Hauk back to work. There's a strike at the knees. Hauk still out there to pitch the eighth and working with a big lead. He's been excellent, really on his game in this one. And at this point, he wants to finish what he started. Got him swinging. Well, that was the cutter down and in right there. And typically, if you're going to have a chance with the pitch, if it's down, that's your best chance of doing anything with it. It's kind of like a mini slider, just with a little less vertical movement. But still, that one tied him up, and he couldn't get the barrel to it. And a foul ball. One down, base is empty. Strike two. Oh, two. Swing 
misses and misses. That's the second out. Oh, nothing too fancy on the strikeout pitch right there. Just a low 90s fastball, and I'm not sure he was trying to challenge him, but that's pretty much what happened. Very hittable location, but he found a way to just get it by him. Walls in the box now. No balls and a strike. Hey, seven straight strikes to start the frame. He's got a chance at an immaculate inning. And a foul ball. The Rays with a lot of ground to make up. And we're in the top of the eighth. Ground ball up the middle. And it finds its way through for a hit. Now Alex Cora is out of the dugout and he will make a move for the bullpen. Nick Pavetta comes on now and he's got a nice lead to work with so he should come in throwing strikes attacking these hitters. And that one is in the dirt. And that's ball one. And strike one to the catcher. One ball. Walls one strike. Off of first with two away. Next offering in there for a strike. And it's one and two. And a pitch. Gets under and pops it up. Hamilton drifts towards it. Brings it in for the third out. So a strong showing there from the Boston bullpen. Home half of inning number eight straight ahead. It's the Red Sox seven, the Rays nothing. Back here in Boston, and here's the first baseman, Dominic Smith. Foul. Line drive. It gets down. Base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Solid swing from start to end. On time with everything. Really good balance. Nice extension. And he met it out front for the line drive knock. Sedane Rafaela up next for the Red Sox. Fought off foul. Kicks and fires. This one in the air right field. Low. Sizes this one up. Makes the catch and there's one gone. The batter, the second baseman, Connor. Back to the top of the lineup. Here's the second baseman, Connor Wong. Ripped on a line. Siri makes the catch. Out number two. Up next for the Red Sox. Not shortstop. Man at first, David Hamilton will hit next. Outfield playing pretty shallow. Swing and a fly ball in the air out towards right center field. And it drops in. And that's a two out double. And his hot hitting continues. They kept him in the yard that time, but all he's doing now is passing the baton, and everything seems to get started around this guy. The pitcher on here, Colin Poche. He's been so good against lefties. Next to hit, Willier Abreu. Hit 
Base hit. One run is in. Here's the throw to the plate. He's in there. And they now lead by nine. Right there, does a great job of staying in the big part of the field. Man, there are a lot of hits there. Man aboard, and here is Devers. Devers, the baby-faced assassin. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. One strike. At the belt and fires. Foul ball there. The Red Sox up big in this one. Here, the bottom half of the eighth inning. And Devers hits that one. Low. Makes the play, and that's out number three. Two runs, three hits, no errors, and one left. Ninth inning coming up. It's the Red Sox nine, the Rays nothing. Welcome back, and here comes the closer, Kenley Jansen. He pitched yesterday, and we'll see him once again. So the batting order turns over. Digging in, Yandy Diaz. 0 for 3 with two strikeouts and a flyout. The pitch. And first offering is fouled off. And the right-hander deals. That one fouled off. Looked like you got a little excited on that fastball. Got to think to yourself, you want to stay up the middle. That way, if you're a little bit early, you hit it out of the ballpark. If you're a little late, opposite field not. This one popped up. Foul ground, first base side. Smith makes the ground, and there's one down. Now back. Left field. Now up for Tampa Bay, Randy or Rosarena. That one hammered, but pulled foul. The Rays with a lot of ground to make up here at the top of the night. The 0 1 is outside, and it's a ball and a strike. Next offering is fouled back. One down, base is empty. Got it by him for the K. Get up. He's really good hitting the baseball the other way. So credit the pitcher for having him out in front of that pitch. Clearly he had him fooled. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. Two down, nobody on. All Red Sox in this one. Close, but called a ball. One ball, one strike. Well, as good as things can be, it can be a tough day at the office, even for the skippers. Seeing the offense just sputter, not able to get anything going. And there's a foul ball. Jansen is just one strike away. Swing and a miss, and he got him. And that'll do it. Well, when you win by nine runs, you have plenty of insurance runs. It's a huge confidence boost when you can just put that many runs up on the board. And I'll tell you what, the next game starter saying, hey, I hope you all save some runs for me. I want to get a win as well. 9 nothing. your final in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon. Keep your eyes on me.